Welcome and thanks for downloading Devolution Server. To help you get started, let's take a quick tour of the web interface so you can familiarize yourself with your new solution. When you first access your Devolution Server, you'll be brought to the main dashboard area. This is your control center, which will display information about your vaults and entries along with their contents. Right now, we're in the Windjammer default vault with widgets in the dashboard summarizing various vault data. Widgets can be customized by your viewing preference by selecting the Customize Widget button. Also in the dashboard, you'll notice various tabs on the root of the vault, in folders, and in entries. These are perfect for storing notes in the documentation area or even adding attachments if necessary. You can see permissions and even logs, and if you're in an entry type, you can see the history as well. Moving into the top right corner, you'll find quick access to recent notifications, as well as the messaging system. This allows you to send secure data and entries to fellow Devolution Server users, or even send secure messages to folks outside your organization using our free product Devolution Send, which is built right in. Now next to that, you'll see your initials or a Gravatar image. Clicking here gives you access to your account properties and information. Here, you'll also find quick links to visit our forum as well as documentation. Above the dashboard is the search bar, which helps you locate entries across all the vaults you have access to. If you want, you can refine your search by using the gear icon for additional parameters. Or you can dive even deeper using the advanced search. Right next to the dashboard, you'll find the Vault Contents pane, where entries like credentials, privilege accounts, sessions, folders, and other IT resources are stored. Adding new entries is a breeze. Just click the plus icon to get started. Here you'll see a wide variety of entry types that can be natively created in the web interface. If you have editing capabilities, you can simply modify entries using the pencil icon. Additional properties can be found by toggling the advanced switch. If you have Devolution's gateway installed and configured, you can even launch remote sessions directly from the web browser. Let's open up an RDP session here. The remote session will open up in the dashboard area, giving you quick access to those endpoints on the fly. On the left hand side, you can see all of the active sessions under the sessions drop down tab. You can end specific sessions or you can end all of them at the same time. Continuing on the left, we see the shared vaults section. These are all the vaults that you have access to. They can contain credentials, remote sessions, IT resources, and sensitive data for you and your team to use. Organizations normally separate vaults by department, user role, or even by customer. If your organization has also installed the Devolution's PAM module, you'll find all the privileged vaults with their accounts in the Privilege Access section. Below that is the User Vault. This vault is assigned to every single user and is an ideal place to store your business-related credentials and entries. If you're an administrator, you'll have access to the system dashboard, a convenient place to show you all of your services that are connected to your Devolution server. We also provide a security dashboard, offering insights and suggestions to help you better secure your Devolution server instance. Here you can see an overall score, the possible risk level of individual items, and even a quick link to bring you to where you can take action if necessary. Then if we head to the administration menu, this is where you'll find all of the options and configurations for your Devolution server, like where you can manage users, provide the appropriate permissions, as well as which vaults they have access to. You can even access the security dashboard from here. Additional server settings and password policies, as well as system permissions can all be set up here. If you've also installed the PAM module, all of your privilege access management options and configurations will be found in the privilege access menu. Back over to the left, under the Utilities dropdown, you'll find the Reports section. This is where you'll find Login, Security, Entry, User Reports, and Logs to see exactly what actions have happened on your Devolution server. And there you have it, a quick tour to get you started with Devolution server. If you need an extra help, check out the Resources section on this page or feel free to reach out to our amazing support team. Thanks for watching.